I think by now, all of you are well aware of this cyclone, that is cyclone before joy. So let us see. So let us see certain facts about this cyclone. First of all, the naming and the category of this cyclone. Now this cyclone before joy, this name has been given by Bangladesh. And what does this mean? The name means disaster or calamity in Bengali language. And according to IMD and Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Bipur Joy is now the strongest cyclone in the Arabian Sea after the cyclone Tokte. But this has become the strongest cyclone after the cyclone Tokte in the Arabian Sea, in the Arabian Sea. So cyclone before joy has become the strongest cyclone. And this cyclone, this has intensified to category three. So what does category three means? Because these categories, these depends upon how much not, what is the speed. So the cyclones before joy's category, it reached 105 knots. So this has intensified to category three. And if you see recent years, you will see that generally we see that cyclones are more common in Bay of Bengal. But we are seeing that in recent years that there has been an increase in cyclone in the Arabian Sea. Generally, that should not occur because of geographical reasons, because of the prevailing winds or the wind circulations, etc. But we are seeing that there has been an increase in cyclonic activity has been noticed in the Arabian Sea in recent times. And what is the reason? If you just go through my earlier lecture on cyclone Mocha, over there I have discussed upon the, the reasons why cyclone, tropical cyclones occur or form. So over there I have discussed in details. So you can just go through the that detailed over there. But generally for the formation of any cyclone, for tropical cyclones actually, not any cyclones, for the formation of tropical cyclones, they are affected by two major parameters. What are those two major parameters? One is warm and moist ocean water. Now, we are seeing that because of global warming, this there has been a rising ocean temperature. So one of the parameters is fulfilled, that is warm ocean water. And the second is what? Moist ocean water. So obviously when the temperature will rise, that will, there will be more evaporation and that will result to more availability of moisture. So these two, temperature and moisture, these two actually are the energy behind cyclones. These two are the energy behind cyclones. That is warm and moist ocean water. When these two rises, then cyclonic activity will also rise. When these two rises, then the cyclone's intensity will also rise. And the, over the years, because of global warming, what is, what is being seen, that Arabian Sea is becoming a warm pool, pool of water, warm pool of water. So that is why we are seeing more intensity of cyclonic activity. Although majority of this act, uh, cyclonic activities, they move towards Pakistan. Now these cyclones, another thing that we are seeing because of again global warming is that they are becoming more common and having greater lifespan. Now we will see about this lifespan. And uh, what has been seen that from 2001 to 2019, there has been a 52% increase in the frequency of cyclonic storms during in the Arabian Sea. So these are certain features of cyclone before joy. Now, although I have discussed about the naming of cyclone in the previous, uh, in cyclone Mocha, but over here, I just want to tell you that this before joy, just, uh, just like I told you, 
that before joy is the name that has been given to this present cyclone and the next cyclone that is coming is named as stage and given by India. So the next cyclone will be cyclone Tej. And I had already told when I was discussing about cyclone Mokha that the next cyclone that is that will be coming up, the next cyclone's name will be cyclone before joy. And you are, now you know that the, uh, after this cyclone, the cyclone that is coming, that will be named as cyclone Tej. Now, these are the various cyclone categories. Not all cyclones or not all storms becomes a tropical depression or not all storms becomes a cyclone. To become a cyclone, first there should be a storm and that storm must strengthen itself to a tropical depression. And what should be its uh, the tropical depression speed? It should be this, 62 km per hour. That tropical depression must further develop itself to become a tropical storm with this speed. And finally, only when it reaches a sustained speed of three minutes, three minutes of sustained speed of 119 km per hour or 74 miles per hour, then we can classify it as cyclone or hurricane or tornado depending upon the area of its formation. If you remember, I have said, that this cyclone before joy has been named as category 3 because of 105 km per hour, which knots, 105 knots. So 105 knots is in this category. That is why it has been um, categorized under category 3. So I hope that is clear. So that is categorized according to the Sapphire-Simpson scale. To know more about the Sapphire-Simpson scale, you can again go back to my previous lecture where it has been discussed in, in detail. Now, these are certain interesting facts about cyclone before joy. So, before joy, this is the first storm in the Arabian Sea in 2023. And one of the most, one of the most interesting feature is that it has rapidly intensified. It was a severe cyclonic storm. But uh, one of the most interesting features is that it was a deep depression at first on 6th uh, June, but then it rapidly intensified itself into severe cyclonic storm between 6th and 7th June because of various um, environmental conditions. And as of 15th June, and why we say that it has a greater lifespan, that was also this, uh, said in the previous slide. Because this is the reason. This started when this started around 5.30 a.m. on June 6th. And as of 15th June, this completes about 10 days. So that is why it is said that this is the longest lifespan in the Arabian Sea. And longest lifespan means more destruction. Why? Because longest lifespan means this can, longest lifespan where? Over the sea. So what will it take from the sea? It will take again moist and what humid air, moist warm air it will take. And what I had said that moist and warm air, these are the two parameters which intensifies any tropical cyclone. So more lifespan on the sea means more taking all these energies. So when it gathers more energy in the form of uh, warm and humid ocean water, that means more energy means more destruction. So any uh, cyclone which has got more lifespan will result to more destruction. Before this, before joy, it was cyclone Kya in 2019, which had a lifespan of 9 days and 15 hours. So till date, cyclone before joy is having the longest lifespan and I hope it is clear to you why and what is its effect. Already before coming, before its landform, it has started its destruction. So this was a very severe cyclonic storm which intensified into ESCS, that is extremely severe cyclonic storm, when on 5.50 a.m. on 11th June. However, by 13th June, 
it again reduced itself to a very severe cyclonic storm. And even before its arrival, because of severe cyclonic storm, because of very high wind speed, 10 houses has already been destroyed in the coastal belt of Gujarat. And it has left around 25 dead and 145 injured on 11th because of heavy rains. Because more affected is Pakistan, more affected will be Pakistan. Most of the cyclones which brew over uh, Arabian Sea, instead of directly hitting India, they hit the coastal belts of India and they move onwards to the, the Kutch area and from that Kutch area they move into Pakistan. So, uh, so trees were also uprooted and their electrical transmission towers were also damaged. Now these were the predictions that were made by IMD and, they, and exactly it has happened like these predictions. So we know that how accurate the IMD can predict. So the IMD had predicted that the uh, Bipur Joy is likely to move nearly northwards and reach near Pakistan and adjoining Saurashtra and Kutch coast of Gujarat on Thursday and 15th June 2023. And that is what has happened. And IMD had also predicted that it would make landfall near Jakhau port. This is in Gujarat and KT Bandar in Pakistan by the evening of 15 June as a very severe cyclone with a maximum wind speed of about 150 kilometers per hour. So based upon this, what are the precautions that were taken? So red alert has been declared for Gujarat. And uh, which places of Gujarat, that is Saurashtra and Kutch coast, red alert has been declared. And the state administration has shifted more than 74,000 people living near the coast to various temporary shelters. The state administration has also deployed disaster, the state uh, administration has also deployed disaster management units for various rescue and relief measures. The NDRF has also been brought down so 15 teams of NDRF, 12 uh, of SDRF, that is State Disaster Response Force, 115 teams of the State Road and Building Department, 397 of the State Electricity Department, and along with this, Army has also been deployed in various coastal districts for uh, the disaster rescue management operations. And Western Railway has already canceled 76 of its trains because of this impending uh, impending disaster. So what uh, you have heard that they have, uh, IMD has declared red alert. So what is this, what are the various types of alerts? Generally there are these types of alerts, the yellow alert, the orange alert, and the red alert, which is the severest of the various alerts. So when you have a yellow alert, it is given to warn against certain risk. They might or might not happen, but there are certain risks if they, they think that the IMD think that some there is some impending risk, then for that, this red, uh, this yellow alert is given and this advises, these are advisories. So it advises people to take necessary preventive action. Then comes the orange alert when the expected weather, it is expected that it can significantly impact, this is that word, significantly impact people, property or activity. So it is the, it is given so that people should prepare themselves accordingly. And the severest of this alert is the red alert, which is rarely issued. And when it is issued, that means, of course, there is some serious, uh, seriously, the weather can affect people and so when that red alert is uh, given then people is the general people residing in those regions they are taken to some other locations to protect themselves and generally these are given within a 48 hours window because you never know you cannot make a very long term prediction of weather now let us see what happened after landfall of Bipur Joy. So the eye of the cyclone 
So what is the eye of the cyclone? It is the center of the cyclone. And for before joy, it was 50 kilometers wide. And what is landfall? Landfall is uh, when we speak, when we say that the, a particular cyclone, landfall has occurred. Landfall means when this eye of the cyclone from the sea, it touches the land that is called landfall. So the landfall process started around 6.30 a.m. So obviously, since it's a 50 kilometer wide, so you cannot expect the entire eye to uh, uh, do its landfall at a single time. So it started around 6.30 p.m. on 15th June, and it the landfall occurred till midnight. And uh, around 125 kilometer per hour wind speed was there. And there was heavy rain along with very high speed of uh, wind. And that the main impact was Zakhau port near Gujarat, in the Gujarat coast of Zakhau port. So no major casualties were reported except two deaths in Gujarat. And because of this heavy wind speed, several trees were uprooted and it caused destruction to property also. Then after that, it uh, after the, the midnight, it entered, that is on, now after that, on 16th June, the uh, severe cyclonic storm became weakened to cyclonic storm, just cyclonic storm, because its wind speed weakened to around 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. And it entered into Rajasthan. While it moved northwards, it entered into the dry state of Rajasthan. And in Rajasthan, while it entered, before entering, red alert was declared for Rajasthan, Jalor, and Burma district because of heavy rains. So rainfalls around 150 millimeters were reported from these districts of Rajasthan. These are the other impacts of uh, Biparjoy. So it's a, uh, it was a 300 to 350 kilometer in diameter. The total diameter was this much with an eye of 50 kilometer wide. So two deaths and 23 injured, these are the official figures. And over one lakh were evacuated from the coastal districts. So, and then it witnessed around, uh, the effect was witnessed around one lakh square kilometer area of Saurashtra and Kutch region. And heavy rainfall uh, was forecasted and that is what happened in Kutch, Gujarat and certain parts of Mahar uh, Saurashtra. And various electric poles and uh, trees were uprooted because of the sea. So you can see over here the formation. So on 6th June, it was formed. And then on 15th June, it hit uh, Gujarat. So you can see the enormous amount of cloud. Enormous amount of cloud. And these the enormous amount of cloud as it is moving towards Rajasthan. So because of this enormous amount of rainfall, has been witnessed by both these areas of Gujarat and also the districts of Rajasthan as mentioned. So this was all. Now these are certain questions that uh, can be taken from this cyclone. So the first question is which cyclonic storm first developed over the East Central and Arabian Sea in 2023? So you know the name that is Cyclone Bipar Joy. Which country gave the name Bipar Joy? So by now, I'm sure you know, so it has already been discussed, that is Bangladesh. Which cyclone in the Arabian Sea had the longest lifespan? Again, it is cyclone before joy. I have also told you the second in line, so that was also discussed. What was the category of cyclone before joy? So I hope you know this answer also, because this was also discussed, so it was category three. Which Indian states did it mainly affect? Rajasthan and Gujarat. So mainly it was Gujarat's Saurashtra Kutch region and then it went on to Rajasthan. So this is all about cyclone before joy. I hope you could gain some knowledge from this. You can also go through the uh, lecture on cyclone Mocha, which is already there in the channel. And there's a short request, kindly subscribe. Thank you. Hello all of you.